keep your eyes on the sky this weekend. The annular solar eclipse happens on Saturday night, and it's something you don't want to miss. This eclipse is known as the ring of fire like you just saw there. It happens when the moon's in front of the sun, creating that circle of light. Tonight, Fox Carolina First Alert meteorologist Brian Bachman is explaining what we could see here locally in this moment of science. Well, folks from the United States to parts of South America in for quite a treat this weekend with a solar eclipse on the way. So for this week's moment of science, we are breaking down the different types of solar eclipses. So let's start by mapping this out. We, of course, have Earth right here. Center of the solar system, we've got the sun. And a solar eclipse happens when the moon in its orbit around Earth winds up positioned right in between the sun as well as the Earth and cast its shadow onto a portion of Earth for a brief time. And what we ultimately see here on the ground is dictated by the exact positioning of the moon when this eclipse occurs. So let's flip the vantage point around here and show you what this would roughly look like, depending on which kind of solar eclipse we're viewing here from the ground. We'll start with a total solar eclipse. That one fairly straightforward. We have the moon moving in front of the sun, and for a brief period, it completely blocks out the sun. Day actually briefly turns to night here on the ground for a few minutes. You'll hear things like crickets, other nighttime creatures beginning to chirp as even they're tricked into thinking that night uh, is settling in. And at that same time, perhaps the most visually striking part of the solar eclipse is underway, where all we can see is the sun's outer atmosphere or its corona. Now, in the case of this weekend solar eclipse, it's going to be a little bit different. Same general process here, but this one's called an annular solar eclipse. Annular meaning ring shaped. The moon still moves in front of the sun, but it's a little farther away from Earth, so it doesn't quite block the sun entirely. Instead, at its peak, you wind up with this ring of sunlight around the moon's silhouette. Still a very striking sight, but just not the exact same process as in a total solar eclipse. Now here in the Carolinas, we're not going to see this this weekend, but it doesn't mean we're walking away empty handed either. We do still have a partial solar eclipse on the way. It'll get underway at about 1037 in the morning. The moon will move in front of the sun and at its maximum at 1158 in the morning, it'll cover up about 56% of the sun. So you'll notice kind of more muted sunlight out there. You'll notice a crescent sun in the sky, but remember, don't look at it directly unless you have some protective glasses. From there, it'll then continue over the next hour and a half to move away, and it'll be back to business as usual after the eclipse fully ends. So happy viewing this weekend. That's a little bit on solar eclipses. That's your moment of science. I'm Brian Bachman.